Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 2 of my Matrix show and let's get started. Now she is out there learning about the city and how it functions and everything associated with it. And she's also learning that robots are friends sometimes. And she finally arrives in the shitty city. So this whole time she has been going to the city. I know you're like, what? <laughs> like, she's learning about the city. It took her that long to get back. Wow. But yes, yes, it did because it's good for my plot. And so she arrives and she realizes this city is actually shit. But aren't they always? When they arrive, uh, her crew gets in trouble for bringing another person. Apparently it's not their first time. And the reason why they get in trouble is because they already have a hard time feeding the people they already have in the city. They don't need another person. So, of course, the leader, or one of the leaders, they, they are the ones who are giving them, like, the spiel. And so while they're in the meeting, they reveal that the girl may not be so normal after all because she was not in the pod like the rest of them. Everybody else was in the pod. But then, of course, there's her living in a fancy cave house. And that stops the leader from giving them a hard time. She realizes, okay, maybe this is not an average person. Everybody is going in for a meeting. Um, you know, all the residents of the city are going to have one huge meeting, you know, all that stuff. But one person recognizes her. And we don't know why yet because she's not a main character. She's not important yet. <laughs> so she is not gonna have a backstory yet. But in the meeting, they talk about the accomplishments, you know, the people, like how many people they have, the food accomplishments, the name of the city, um, and the other cities that they are able, they were able to start and pretty much start a network. So in the separate meeting that happened with the crew, uh, upon hearing, oh, like, oh, she was in a fancy house, not in a disgusting pod, uh, she decides, you know what, um, I get to make the rules around here, so take her and I will let you guys train her and let her jump in between Matrix and this world uh, for our benefits. Uh, meanwhile, the driver of the ship one of, he was one of the crew members, he is hiding a very big secret. So the plane has cameras around it so that they can, you know, see if what's going on on the outside. And it captured the whole situation. He's watching the footage, he sees that she is actually the one that comes out of the house. How is that possible? I mean, they just picked her up. Is that really a thing? So naturally, he knows that it could cause problems. So being a good guy <laughs> to not cause problems, he deletes the footage. He actually wasn't the only one. He had a robot sitting next to him, watching the footage with, with him. And he's like, you're not gonna tell anybody about this. Like, this, is, this stays between you and me. Just you and me, nobody else. Is gonna know about and that is why the leader who was scolding them you know giving them a hard time she never saw the footage he requests the footage he's like oh there must have been some devices you know messing with our cameras and we we don't have the footage of it she never questions it because why would she you know these Robots would naturally have the equipment to be able to do something like that. So Why would she question it? So she Ignores it completely and moves on with her life while those two are keeping a very big secret that there are two of them 